Beckman rearrangement. Whenever asymmetrical ketone react with hydroxyl amine, it will form uh, the oxime. Whenever oxime uh, treated with acid such as uh, <coughs> sulfuric acid or any kind of acidic medium, suppose uh, formic acid, then it undergo one to alkyl shift and will form n substituted amide and the product is this is n substituted r dash migration of this group to this side and this is the n substituted amide this is the backman rearrangement the keto oxime the keto oxime whenever treated with acidic medium it will form n substituted amide the mechanism first as we know that in case of a oxime this hydroxyl group is a poor living group so we must convert into a better living group initially we protonated to this one oxygen containing to lone pair one of the lone pair will interact with this H plus and this one became OH2 due to loss of lone pair it will acquire a positive charge now this one is the this is a protic acid this one is a better living group now we have to minimize this positive charge this bond shifted to this place and one of the alkyl group with its bond pair goes to nitrogen atom now we have r c due to loss of this bond pair carbon will acquire a positive charge and this is nitrogen this is r dash now as we know that in this case it will lose a molecule of water now water molecule will attack to this carbon atom now the compound is RCOH due to loss of lone pair it will acquire a positive charge nitrogen and having R dash now this bond is shifted to this place to minimize this positive charge now we have R C this is your hydroxyl group double bond N and R dash this is N substituted uh, amide N substituted amide and it will rearrange it will rearrange if this bond will shift it to this place this bond goes to this place nitrogen will acquire a negative charge and the hydrogen having positive charge goes to this place R carbon with double bond with oxygen atom single bond with R dash and nitrogen containing hydrogen atom this is your final product